Hi guys, it's Ray from Ray's Turquoise Turtle. Uh, today I am starting a tray project. This is going to be my interpretation of a Northern Lights tray. So it's going to be a couple steps. The first step is going to be a black base. I have like eight ounces of resin in front of me. I'm going to put some black mica in and mix that up. <laughs> I'm also going to pour handles for this tray today, so I'm going to use my handle mold for the first time. I have no idea how much resin those take. Um, I'm okay with this not being like super, super dark black, but I'm going to put a little black alcohol ink as well. The ink will also help... Um, eliminate bubbles and I am going to put just a tiny bit of a black glitter in here this is um I don't even think this is opened this is just a Walmart glitter the onyx everybody says it's one of the best black glitters but Clearly, I haven't used it since mine wasn't opened, but I'm not going to use a ton. I like the way that works. I'm just going to, it's got a seal in it too, duh. So I'm just going to open it and pour some in. All right, so. I'm going to mix that in as best I can. Not a ton, just for a little added sparkle at this phase. And I'm going to get the stick out of the way a minute. I would like to pour the handles first, but I want to have a little better control of the cup. So I'm going to go ahead and pour some of the bottom of the tray to start. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the handles. And I'm going to pour the holes first. You can see this is still semi-translucent. It's not super, super pigmented, which is fine. And I do want room to do uh, another layer, at least one layer on the tray, so whatever's left in here, and I didn't even look at my cup, um, it's just going to go in here. So, And this batch of resin mixed extremely hot, so I'm trying to move quickly because I do have quite a large batch mixed up that I'm hoping not to lose in between projects. So I'm going to move the trays, they're the handles, out of the way quick. And I'm just going to tilt this around to fill in any blank spaces. So, um, I don't really want to put any heat to this. I may spritz it with alcohol if some of these bubbles don't work themselves out. But other than that, that will be it for step one. Okay, I have everything mixed up and ready to go here for the next phase of this Northern Lights tray. So, what I have are six mica colors out of the box of mic because I'll have linked down below. I have lavender, blue rose, papaya, gravera, magical blue, which is the white I'm going to use this time, 
and black. So I already have them all mixed up. I didn't mix up very much, just black. And I didn't mix up a ton of the magical blue. The magical blue looks white like this. When you get it over a black base, that interference color will pop through. So when you see these, these are not white micas. If you put them on a dark surface, they will not be white anymore. So don't get too confused. I mixed up six ounces of resin to begin with. I used about an ounce in each of my color cups because they're going to be the bulk of this project. And then I did about half an ounce, of, ounce, half an ounce of the black and a half an ounce of the white. The rest of it, I mixed black mica, black opaque dye. And this does have more glitter in it, but the glitter kind of gets taken over. So I may sprinkle some glitter on later. I also have this, this is just a white uh, iridescent glitter. Um, this one's called Crystal. This was from AC Moore. They're out of business now, so I can't link that, but it's just a white. I'm sure this would be considered fine, but it's a larger cut. And these are my handles that I poured yesterday, so I'm going to go ahead and unmold those quick. If I can get them out. These are a little difficult. I almost wish the molds were separated from each other. Um, but they have good long handles, so that's probably also part of the problem. You can see where I was a little uneven where this cured, but I don't really care for this purpose. It'll be fine. Um, I didn't fill these right, right to the top, so I may end up doming the tops of them to level them off some, but... Right now, I'm not going to worry about that. I just need them out so they're ready to go because they will go in at this phase. And depending on how full this is and how it looks, this might be the last phase. I'm just trying to make sure it's clean. This is still very soft because there was so much pigment in it yesterday and it's been cold in this room all day, so... All right, I am going to jump in. I am going to start by putting my colors from probably somewhere about here up. And um, I have wax paper under this because I may slop up and over the edges some while putting my color in and probably most definitely when I get to the heat gun. So I'm just going to kind of run the angles to start. And I'm not going to try and do them like exactly the same side by side. And I may have mixed way too much color because I'm probably going to end up doing a clear coat to finish this off just to fill it in, but we'll see. I wasn't really sure about the pink, how I was going to feel about that. Sometimes I just use um, like a lavender when I do a Northern Lights. And you do want to use micas for this because the micas will show up against the black where without adding white and alcohol ink is not going to work for this purpose.
There's an argon filling in. I'm basically going to fill until I get a pretty full coverage. And then, yes, I am going to apply heat to this. I know I tell you all the time I don't use heat on my molds, but there are some things you can't really achieve without some kind of heat, and this would be one of them. So, I'm going to come back in with some of the blue. And I'm leaving the white for very, very last. And the black, if I decide to add any, will be like... Um, at the very end, and only if I feel that I really need it. I may decide I don't want it at all. And I'm not going to put a ton of heat to this. It's just going to be enough to move and blend this some. I am trying to get as much of my color down to start as I can. And back to my purple. I do want to use like all of my color because I do want to use that entire six ounces that I mixed up this round. The only thing I might not use is all of the black, but I can always add that black to the bottom part as well. So that's all my color. <coughs> Excuse me. And now I'm going to go back in with the white, with the interference blue. That's what it actually is. I'm just going to start drizzling that in here and there. No real rhyme or reason. Just getting it on there. Again, I am going to use all of it. If I mixed it for this project, I'm going to use it. I feel like this pink piece got a little thick, so I'm going to see if I can get a little bit more of a different color out of its cup just to break it up some. Okay. Now, like I said, this particular batch of black I'm going to let sit for now. This will be to break some of this up if I decide it needs it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my heat gun. This is a Wagner, Wagner Ferno 550. It has several fan settings and heat settings. I'm going to keep it on fairly low heat and on the low fan, I think, but I might turn the fan up. So that's on. I'm going to turn the heat down. I'm going to go ahead and turn the fan up. And I'm going to see if that gives it enough to move it. And if it doesn't, then I'll kick it up, the heat. but I don't want to hurt the mold or the resin underneath. But I just want it to move and blend some.
so I'm not going to concentrate too much on the edges. Sorry if the heat gun's getting a little up close and personal. Happens. I'm just trying to push it a couple different directions and spread it out a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and work some black in here just to kind of break it up a little bit. Just to bring some more night sky back in. Not a ton, just a little bit. Just to give it some direction, I guess. So I think that's it. That's what I'm going to do with the black. And I am going to, at this point, just sprinkle on a tiny bit of this shimmery glitter to maybe hopefully pick up a little reflection. If I lose too much of this glitter, if it sinks too much, when I do my clear coat, I can use another glitter then. So I'm going to hit this with heat just one more time to break up some of that black now. Just want to feather it out a tiny bit. Just so it looks more natural versus intentional. Okay, so last step for tonight is to pour this other black mixture into the bottom. Because I do want it to fill just as much of the bottom. And I do think this is tilted like this way a little bit, but I'm not using a ton, so it shouldn't move it too, too awful much. And I'm going to level it as soon as I'm done and move it to where it's going to sit to cure overnight. I had thought about using stencils to make a tree line and decided that I didn't really want to go through all that. So I'm just using up the rest of that other black mica I had mixed up. 
Um, but I didn't want like a forced tree line, so I'm going to kind of um, manipulate some of this. If I can. To be kind of a almost mountainy looking overlooking a lake type thing so i am going to break the rules again i'm gonna go ahead and torch this real quick just in quick bursts because there's no alcohol ink in this it's um and again i'm trying to stay away from the edges and because my epoxy was so cold when I mixed it, it's um, thick and bubbly. So that's going to be it. I am going to go ahead and set the handles in, like I said, today. Because I do want this to be an actual tray. So there's one. And hopefully these handles won't sag and slouch. Even though they're not like hard, hard cured yet. But I was kind of thinking about... Because um, like I said, these kind of needed to be domed yet. So I hadn't really decided if I wanted to um, try and incorporate... the look from the tray itself into the handles. This is where I struggle sometimes with design. And I'm not going to worry about the handles overrunning because I didn't fill them full full. They do have a little bit of a lip. So it's not a danger of it running out and over particularly. And if I don't have enough left of my colors to fill, I will just go ahead and um, fill on the cure coat, the clear coat layer to finish it off. But I was thinking it might tie the handles in a little bit better. Or it's gonna make it look terrible one way or the other. tipped my purple cup over so most of my extra purple is currently running across my table of course and resin is self-leveling so these should all smooth out and kind of line up in the end And again, because it has that little bit of a lip, they should kind of keep themselves in a nice line. Hopefully. Not really replicating the pattern underneath, but I did kind of try to keep it somewhat like if there was a green there, I'd put green there, if that makes sense. I'm 
going on to some black to finish the ends. So I probably won't come on to pour the clear coat because it is literally just going to be, um, judging by the depth this mold still has to go, I'm probably going to mix up eight ounces of resin to start and see if that fills it. And then if that doesn't fill it, I'll have to do a second round. Um, but the about six ounces I've just used now hardly put a dent in this thing, in my opinion. So... That'll be my next step. It's just not exciting to watch somebody pour a clear coat, so I'm probably, like I said, not going to bother to do it on here. And I do think I might put just a tiny bit of black mixed through in a couple spots. So I will come back in when this is ready to come out of the mold. So if I get the clear coat on in the morning, I can do it tomorrow night. But if I don't get the clear coat on in the morning, then it's going to be at least another day. So I am going to keep track of this for bubbles, though, because I can see. And part of that is because of the glitter layer. Um, after this round of torching, I will probably um, stick to spritzing it with alcohol. But that is it. I will be back to finish this off. Okay, I just wanted to pop in quick and unmold this. I did finish pouring the clear layer. Um, I did sprinkle a little bit of fine glitter into the clear. I didn't mix it in. I just sprinkled it in. So that's all you missed. You can see the clear layer. Oh, some of the color from the back showed through even. Cool. So I'm going to have to sand the edge a little bit. Um, I didn't quite fill the mold still, so there's a little bit of a lip here, but I'll just buff along the edge and that'll be gone. But there she is, my Northern Lights tray. Let me know what you think. Not sure if I would do another one. I'm not sure if I'd do the handles this way, although they did come out pretty cool the way the colors ran because it was slightly off um, flat when I did that. But they smoothed out pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with the way that worked. So, there she is. Thanks for watching. Please give me a like and subscribe. I'd very much appreciate it.